sharing that as well. And um, if you guys just bow your heads with me, I want to open with prayer. Father God, I just thank you for using me, my God. I set myself aside, Father God, that you can rise up, my God, and speak your simple message, Father, with clarity and in its exactness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Um, I just want to thank God for my salvation and the new life that he's given me in Christ. Um, about two years ago, this time before I knew Christ as my Lord and Savior, I was lost and in bondage. I was a hurt woman driven by fear and consumed in sin. I couldn't escape the heartache I felt, and I was a prisoner to my remorse. But the Lord was so good and gracious to me. The moment I felt completely dead inside, God saved me and filled me up with his hope and his love. He brought me to VO Heart and gave me a new family here in Christ. John Beaver quoted, his character or nature will be seen in his leaders. And it will be a catalyst for healing. I'm so blessed to be part of a ministry that exemplifies this through their dedication and commitment to the vision of discipling hurting people. I can honestly testify that because of your faithfulness to this call, I've been inspired and instilled with the desire to fulfill my potential in life with a sense of dignity, belonging, and destiny. <laughs> Jeremiah 11:29, For I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This was a scripture first given to me to study and to write about what it means to me personally by Sister Debbie Martinez. I've been so encouraged so much by the women here at Victory Outreach Heart, by Sister Irene, who never doubts that I can't do something when she challenges me to step out. And Sister Rochelle's commitment and belief in me to grow in my walk with the Lord. And when I see Sister Chella up here with that same fire as the women preaching at the women's convention, there's this desire that rises up inside of me. And like Sister Lydia said last Sunday, that she wants some of that. I want some of that. I want that fire. In Sister Rosanna Carrillo's word at the convention, she shared what the cost for just one hour of that fire takes. Hours of weeping, fasting, praying, weeping, fasting, praying. The price for wearing a crown demands change. Being constantly broken, it's painful. Being brought to humility, obedience, submitting your will to God, having your innermost being exposed. The Lord dealt with me in her message, piercing my heart to face arrogance, pride, offense, and unforgiveness, and all this ugliness. It's painful. It's not pretty. Do I really want that fire? Do I, is it really worth the cost? My answer to the Lord is yes. I want it. I want to live the life more abundant that Christ died to give me. To be on a relentless pursuit after God, the plan, and the vision. Because I am Victory Outreach. I'm called with a burden to reach lost and hurting women. I'm called to disciple and give them the message of hope. And the plan of Jesus, the way it was given to me. 
I pray the Lord strengthens me with a relentless warrior spirit by the grace of God. A relentless spirit that never stops moving forward with unlimited capacity to love people. A relentless warrior spirit that when things get tough and uncomfortable, I won't fall back, but I'll push forward to persevere, endure towards the prize. Because I can't do it in my own strength. To have a spirit of urgency, to be an outpouring of the portion God's given me to someone lost and hurting the way I was, to guard my heart and protect and preserve his Holy Spirit and be set apart to be in position and ready for him to move. I don't want to just be a contributor to this vision, but I desire to give my whole life to the will of God, to serve him in this ministry he called me to, to be a giver, to pray, to be an intercessor, to fill in when there's a need, to be available to my pastor's wife when she needs me, to encourage others, to bear the burdens of my leaders, to be loyal and committed to this vision. I am Victory Outreach. The promise is mine, and it's yours. It's yours, Abigail. It's yours, Annalisa. It's all of yours. And I'm going to close in prayer. Father God, I just thank you, Father God, for using me and speaking.